Right. I hit a problem of late. I've been playing with ZBrush 2021.1 and the performance enhancements have been superb. It's so efficient now. I've got a pretty powerful machine and I was working on this guy and I realized it was up to 53.6 million polys. And I thought, okay, I'll, I need to get this into Substance Painter. I need a high poly version. I'll try and um, decimate. And I waited over an hour and got the message that I, don't, I was out of memory. I've tried every trick I can think of and I couldn't fix it. And I know there are methods where we can slice them up into pieces and decimate each of these and freeze borders, then try and weld them back together as a decimated multi-piece unit. And I thought, no, that's a pain in the bum. So I just happened upon a trick with Dynamesh and projection that solved a lot of my issues. I just want to show it you. Uh, before I go any further though, I do actually use Ryan's tools. He's got this really neat little trick with Dynamesh um, called Easy Mesh with a slider. Just goes from one to nine. Nine is quite a high poly Dynamesh. It's just more convenient for me to use that way. What I'm going to do first though, is just clone out the high poly body. So here he is selected. What I'm just going to do just so that we ease the burden slightly, step him down one subdivision, then duplicate him. So I've got two 30 million poly meshes here. Okay, so I'm just going to isolate this duplication in an easy mesh I'm going to set it to about nine see what we get so there we go it's quite an accurate dynamesh and we're at 1.3 million polys so what I do now is just go through the project and divide process so divide your dynamesh and project all. Right, that took about two minutes to do. And it's not too shoddy as it is. I'm just going to do one more divide and project. Okay, I won't kid you, that took eight minutes. I think I'm right in thinking every time you subdivide your original, it times the polys by four, and the projection seems to take approximately four times as long. This is the Dynamesh now. And it's got all the detail I need, and it's 21 million polys. Now, I can actually get 21 million polys into Substance Painter quite happily on my machine. It was the decimation, decimation stage from 53 million polys where I failed. But w what we can do now, of course, is decimate this. Let's give it a go. I'd like to try about 30%, but pre-process first. This will take a while. Right, that's processed. Over to decimation. Fingers crossed. Like I say, I'm keeping it about 30% decimation. And I'll see you in a short while. Okay, that was a pleasant surprise. Only took about a minute to do. So now we've got our decimated version of our Dynamesh projected version at 6.5 million polys, which most PCs can handle for Substance Painter. Anyway, I hope you found this useful, and if you like what you see, jump over to my channel, ZBrush is easy, and subscribe for more content. Thanks, see you next time.